We were just hearing comments there uh, from Chancellor Angela Merkel, and she said essentially that she rejects government stimulus as the way to spur growth in Europe. So essentially she is saying no to any sort of renegotiation or compromise on the fiscal treaty. We will see. We certainly are determined uh, to uh, set up the debate inside the European Union on the absolute need to have to sustain growth and uh, to end the piling up of austerity plans. We need each uh, government has, of course, to put its own finance and uh, public deficits and uh, uh, in order. Uh, and uh, François Hollande has said very clear things uh, on this matter. He said mm. that next year the public deficits will go under 3% of the GDP. They are 5% yeah. now. And that at the end of his term, in five years' time, we will have uh, an equilibrium in uh, public finance. So this will be done, and there's no doubt and question about that, and François Hollande will take all measures that... Does that, does that include spending cuts? But it he will uh, uh, constrain public finance. Uh, but he will do, that, do it with the uh, constant uh, concern for social justice, which has not been the case and fiscal justice, which, ha which has not been the case yeah. with the previous uh, president and government. But we all know that uh, if we want to sustain, uh, to, 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 ha to, to, to decrease uh, uh, unemployed, which has, uh, you know, it's very, very concerning in Europe at the moment, and also uh, if we really want to reduce deficits and debts, we will need to have growth. And for that... At, I mean, you're absolutely right, but, you know, if we look at some of the proposals that um, François Hollande has been making, he's talking about uh, debt neutralisation, he's talking about euro bonds and the funds would then be used to, to fund infrastructure projects. But on, on the other hand, you have Angela Merkel now saying, hang on a minute, we don't want uh, economic programs see, that are, that are financed see, through debt. No, so no, she's we, just saying no to all of this We now. will see what Angela Merkel says to François Hollande when he meets her, and he will do that very quickly after... Uh, uh, the, uh, he is in the yeah. Elysee, which will, uh, as you know, take place on uh, next uh, Tuesday, 15th of May. Uh, and, uh, and so we will see. We will have a debate on how to sustain growth in Europe. But I can tell you that I have been working for months now on this question of renegotiation uh, of the treaty and how, and how we need to have growth in Europe and have had discussions with all sorts of uh, officials uh, in uh, uh, key European countries. And uh, all the people I have uh, been in touch with are very conscious that without growth mm. we cannot reduce debt and deficits. But Germany doesn't want to do it through any form of expenditure. That, that's the no, point, right? It's not, the, it's not through expenditure. Mm. If we have, I'm not talking about mutualizing the debt at short term, maybe some, someday we'll have to do that. But at the moment, what we need in Europe is investment. Since uh, national budgets uh, and finance, public finance are very constrained, we need to have borrowing at the level of the European so, Union okay. through the European Investment Bank, which has the uh, capacity and the know-how to do that, uh, and we will have a leverage with private finance as well. Are these, are these new ideas? Because this is the sort of thing that, that Nicolas Sarkozy was pushing for as well. He wanted a boost to the bailout fund. He wanted it to have a banking license so it could borrow and have access to unlimited funds. He did funds not the succeed at But why all. will François Hollande succeed where Sarkozy Because failed? there's a new need and because we are saying that we have very uh, constructed proposals on that and we know that these new investments should go to uh, the new economy, to uh, reducing uh, energy consumption. But tell me, how, how a new flexible is François Hollande willing to be? Because the proposals that you have on the table already, is that a starting point? Would you be willing to But you uh, don't even know in the, coming the details of the, okay. on the table. So wait, we wrote a memorandum 
we will uh, send this memorandum when François Hollande is in charge to our uh, European uh, partners. They know roughly what is in it, and when I have been uh, in very in various contact, I can assure you that there is a lot of interest, and there there will be a negotiation. Are you concerned and there will that, be... that negotiation could result in an extended period of instability that markets and investors pick up on? Not at all. I think that markets are the first actors to, 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 to claim for growth. <laughs> They've been doing so for months. So since we say that there will be, uh, there will be no... Uh, uh, um, the, the, François Hollande yes. will reduce well, fin, a, a public deficit. El Elizabeth, and therefore we have, to, we have to take positive uh, action yes. at the level of the European Union. And uh, this has not been done. It should have been done before. Well, I must and say, then we'll have a discussion on that with our Euro European partners. Well, it was wonderful to get your insight, your analysis. Really appreciate you coming here to speak to uh, Bloomberg Television today. Thank you.